Speakers of Parliament and legislators from the 12 member states of the Great Lakes region met at the Serena Hotel in Nairobi to discuss the role Parliament can play in conflict resolution. Some of the speakers came from South Sudan, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya and Angola. Professor Yasin Olum, a lecturer in politics at Makere University, did the research on the causes of conflict in the region and the possible interventions that parliaments can make. It is estimated that the conflict in South Sudan, Eastern DRC, Burundi and Rwanda resulted in 5.4 million refugees. Professor Loom first gave them a task. Parliamentarians must never be seen to be weak before the executive. They should not be rubber stamping the decisions of the executive. They must make sure they are the parliamentarians who preside on that institution, which is the most powerful people's institution. It is superior to the executive. However, the Kenya Senate Speaker, Kenneth Makelo Lusaka, argued that Professor Olum's recommendations were not practical. Much as we try our level best to be independent is what we call separation of power, but really achieving that is also quite difficult sometimes. Uh, given that, the, for example, the executive or the president who is ruling is also from a political party with members in that particular assembly and they want the agenda to, to, to go forward. So that balance, again, uh, may sound more theoretical than, uh, than, than practical. What is the best for you? To go by the caucus of your ruling party, even when you know perhaps it could be wrong, or to stand and say, I am a national member of parliament, I do not agree with what our caucus did. Me, this is what I am going to do. We have this scenario in Uganda called rebel MPs. Have you heard of them? Rebel members of parliament. We have them. They rebel against positions of their parties. Although majority of the legislators picked a leaf and were willing to make use of Professor Olum's speech, some disregarded it. I have been sent away here this morning as we enter the afternoon. I have been chased away. Go away with your academics. Thank you very much. Keep bringing your practitioners to talk to you. Bring them. And you'll see what you will get. As if what we academicians write have no basis in practice. Are you telling me all these books you read in secondary schools, universities, uh, for your first degree and masters are useless? Then when I come here, you start showing how useless I am because I'm an academician. You listen to them. Listen to them. If you have one degree, you are going to come for a second, and I'll get you there. The scholar gave recommendations on what should be done to end the protracted conflicts in the region. Mediation and arbitration. The other is diplomacy. And the final one is creative peace building. The other speakers of parliament also had their say. Issues related to constitutional changes. Constitutional changes, for instance, extending terms limit, or age limit, and so on. These sometimes cause strife. So all we have to do is just look at uh, the aspects that we need to address. What, is, what role is it that uh, we need to play? It is unequivocal to note that it will take long for legislators to completely separate powers that is between the legislative assembly and also the executive that always has an upper hand when it comes to decision making and therefore they have been asked to always rise to the occasion and ensure that they challenge what comes from the executive that could be not meeting the aspirations of the people. And also another point to note is that there is still a paradox of the multi-party democracies that requires tolerance on both sides. Sudil Biyaruhanga, NTV, Nairobi.